This next one I don't like so much. I don't know if you saw this story floating around. No. Uh, there, there were there were a couple of different reports on this. This is a guy who lost, according, I saw numbers up to a million dollars, but in, in at least in this article on decrypt.co, says that this user lost six hundred thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin by downloading what looked like a Trezor app inside of the App Store. Okay, now Trezor, super popular crypto wallet. Hardware wallet. Mm -hmm. Do I? I have one right over here. Give me one second. Okay. This right here. This is a cool uh, gold luxury limited version from Gray. This one is a collaboration actually. Very luxurious. Shout out to them, by the way. Uh, I'm going to post on social media to shout you guys out. Super cool. And But they don't, have, they don't have a mobile app. It's not the way this thing works. You plug it into uh, your laptop or desktop, mm -hmm. and there's an interface there, and it works when it's plugged in, tethered, to, uh, to manage it. Yeah, it's not even, it doesn't have a battery in there. No, no, it's because it's meant to be secure. It's not connected to the internet. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm doing? The motions. Yes. It's the whole point with the hardware wallet. Offline. Super popular company, one of the earliest com companies in the game. And they make a couple different devices. They yep. do not have an iOS app. How, however, a company figured out a way to get an app on the app store that started out as something else. In this case, the original app uh, was claiming to be, uh, what was it? It was claiming to be some type of cryptography. It was in the cryptography category, and it was said to be an app as a solution for encrypting iPhone files and storing passwords originally when it was submitted. Right. But what they're able to do is then go in after it's been approved and change certain attributes and make the app something else completely mm -hmm. from what was approved. And so that's when they turned it into a crypto wallet and that's when they put the name Trezor on it. Then they were able to get a bunch of five-star reviews and about a thousand downloads. Mm -hmm. Now, people who had the hardware wallet were thinking, oh, I'm just going to hop on iOS, assuming that Trezor would also have a software wallet on mobile, which they don't. There's a warning to everybody here. Yeah, you got to go online. The Trezor Suite, I believe, that's what it's called. It's a new it's a new app. Yeah, but it's within it's within the browser. It's an interface. It's a browser-based interface. Yeah. And your hardware wallet is connected when you're accessing it. Mhm. Mm In this case, this person thought, okay, maybe I can just link the two things and then my mobile app is going to be updated with my hardware wallet. Fantastic. Let me just move these things around. Well, the 17 or so Bitcoin that go into it, was it 17.1 Bitcoin goes in there and guess where it went? Night, night. It went straight to the malicious app and those developers. Hmm. And this is one person out of a thousand downloads. Mm-hmm. That is some big time stuff, dude. Oh, that's scary. That's some nasty stuff. There's yeah. another report here. Now, obviously, you can't see whatever everybody lost over here, but another guy was on record saying he lost about 14,000. However, the twist here now, and you know, the audience can weigh in on this if they choose. The twist here now is that he's saying this is Apple's responsibility. He is saying Apple let him down here by letting something like that exist in the App Store. Apple says, look, we rely on user reporting and this stuff is happening so fast and there's so many different apps. And I don't know if they say that on the record, but that would be their take. Mm -hmm. He says, no, it's your App Store, your responsibility. Now, the user has obviously... <sighs> Some responsibility themselves mm -hmm. 
in checking out, particularly when you're moving around 600,000 worth of Bitcoin, to, to just quick check on the Trezor site. Yeah. Quick check. You guys got an app? Send an email. Mm -hmm. But I understand people don't really work that way. You see an app, it looks official. I get that too. Now, Apple, for their part, you know, they've been in court recently explaining why their app store is so important and why the 30 points they take on it from the developer is so, so important mm -hmm. because they're the best police that they maintain their shopping mall. It's been a defense against Epic in all those lawsuits. So, you know, if this guy goes to decide to file something, they're going to be citing what Apple's been saying about how amazing their app store is and how well it's policed, whatever ends up on the shelf. Yeah, I... It's hard to blame him. It does look legit with the reviews and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. So actually, by the way, that's important to note because of what you're showing right now. They did, they ran a similar scam on the Play Store too. Yeah. As well. This is Play Store. Yeah, that's the Play Store. They ran a similar scam, iOS and Play Store. Um, mm. I mean, it's just a nasty situation. Apple touts, it, touts its store as the most trusted marketplace for apps they say that all apps undergo a rigorous review process, but acknowledge that there have been other cryptocurrency scams on the app store. It was available from January 22nd to February 3rd, downloaded 1000 times. Nasty, nasty stuff. I will just say as a word of warning to people dealing in crypto, be as careful as you possibly can all the time. It uh, does expose one of the, issues in dealing in crypto is you know the, what's good about it right is also what can be exploited mm -hmm. but you guys let me know in the comments specifically if apple what is apple's responsibility in this situation and how much what what, what should Apple? what is there any merit there mm -hmm. is there should Apple take any responsibility or is it like, hey, man, you're on your own? Yeah. I think for sure they're going to be looking into it for future problems. Mm. They're going to try to fix it before it happens again. But I don't think this guy's going to get his money back from Apple. Mm. None of it. 600000 gone. None of it? I don't think so. 50 bucks? An Maybe Apple? 50. A gift A gift card? Sure. An app store gift card? Give them some, uh, you know, some earbuds. Yeah, I know. I hear you, man. I, I don't know. I don't even necessarily expect, I wouldn't expect them to do anything either. It's just, you wonder. I don't know if there's a precedent for it. It's a big amount of money. I don't know if there's a legal precedent for such. I'm sure in the terms of service, you sign away all right, your ability yeah. to sue anybody about anything. Apple's like, you agree, right? You're like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. I need to use this iPhone now. Leave me alone. <laughs>